This Barossa Valley, itself set like a rare jewel in the rolling hills of South Australia, is climatically perfect as a legendary garden and contoured for a naturally lush fertility. This tranquil Barossa Valley. It was in 1847 that the first vines were planted and in every succeeding year the traditional wines have been produced, some of them world-class prize winners. What then remained to be achieved in the Barossa Valley? One man believed that still something remained to be done in this beautiful place. Year after year, the grapes were harvested in the traditional way to produce the traditional wines. But on a dew-filled morning, the valley seemed to have a character to be found in no other vineyard in the world. A character which began to suggest the creation of a new wine. The new wine must be delicate and sensitive. A fantasy wine, a captivating wine, a wine inspired by a rare jewel. This new wine had to be made to possess the joy of the vineyards of the beautiful Barossa Valley. The task began in the laboratories. Tests for colour, tests for bouquet, tests for the chemistry of the new wine. Yet some factors still remained elusive in the design of its final character. Then, like a vision, came the memory of the original inspiration. There was a name not used in winemaking before. It was the word pearl. It meant a sparkling bubble in wine. In the laboratory, work went on. The unknown factors by experiment were resolved. Finally, there was produced a blend which seemed to possess all the characteristics required. The final test remained to be made, 
But a wine is nothing if it cannot delight the senses of a discriminating palate. And so the new, delicate, sensitive wine was born. To produce the new wine successfully, it was necessary to design and install special refrigerated and pressured containers so that ideal conditions might be controlled day and night during the aging period. This wine was far more susceptible to outside influence than other wines in its making and maturing stages. To hold this new wine of Barossa, something unusual in containers was required, for none of the traditional wine bottle shapes quite matched the character of the new creation. The design of the new bottle was the inspiration of a moment, soon transmitted to a sketch. The outline on paper became a reality in wood as the pattern maker applied his craft. From the wooden shape, a glass blower drew his inspiration. A lifeless piece of wood becomes a prototype in shimmering glass. Molten globules fall directly into moulds designed to produce the new containers in great quantities. After cooling in the annealing oven, the bottles emerge and are packed for transport to the winery.
the special wine of Barossa was ready for bottling. Filling the bottles required a special technique. Uh, this entire room is sterile uh, to avoid any possibility of damaging the wine by atmospheric contamination. This is the story of an inspiration and of planning and how they became a satisfying reality. And so the dream of a winemaker was fulfilled. In the creation of this new, delicate, sensitive wine is captured the joy of the vineyards of beautiful Barossa Valley, a pearl from Barossa.